What's going on guys, and today we have another episode of my World to Glory series. It's only episode 2, I suppose you could say, but we're getting right into it. You guys did want me in the straw I left in the last um, episode. You did want me to keep the team I was rocking with, um, and the kind of account I was rocking with, and you also wanted me to do uh, face cam and live commentary. Today I'm not going to do live commentary, because I feel that for the first episode it won't be great, plus I already had kind of pre-planned what I wanted to do. I did actually do it with live commentary, um, and that kind of backfired, so I've kind of planned it out now, just that I don't really want to do live commentary again. So, we're just going to be doing it with this. If my face does look a bit orange, it is because of the lighting in here is not great. I did have a light that I almost set on fire about 10 minutes ago um, when I was trying to set up for this video, so that is kind of annoying. I've got the green screen behind me as well, just because the background of my bedroom's a mess. But, we're going to get right into it. We did change the club name. We did make... Uh, we haven't changed the club name yet, I don't think, but we will do that in a minute. Um, we did make a new squad. We did call it RTG, and that should be the new squad built. 442, we're going to put it in. Uh, build the squad is what we were going to do as... It's the easiest way to put the players in the squad as quickly as you want them to go in the squad. So that's what we went ahead and did, in fact, do, guys. Um, and we did have some quality players in there, like Yaya Toure and that. But we didn't really feel like for the first episode going for a BBL team. There was the um, we get BBL Cup out where you can win that Hero Castro. No, not, not Hero Castro. Team of the Season, Ruben Castro, which we really want to do. That will be in the next few episodes, guys. It's not going to be in today's episode. It won't be in tomorrow's episode either, which, by the way, guys, I will be uploading this tomorrow. Um... But it will be in the episode after because I'm currently recording that just now for you guys. So, you'll see what happens then. So, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, having this video for you guys. And you guys can see if we do get the team of the season, Ruben Castro. The lighting is so bad, isn't it? I'm going to see if this makes a difference, guys. I think that makes me look a bit dark. That's the only problem. So, I'm going to put it on again. Um, but I'm just going to kind of keep it in the background. Give me a second. This is really bad lighting. Jeez, oh. Right, there we go. That should be a bit better. Um, no, not really. But we're going to continue like this anyway. I'll try and fix the lighting for the next episode. It doesn't help, guys, um, that it did just break the light I was using, but it should be fixed for the next episode, guys. But anyway, as you can see, put loads of players in the squad. We've got as many uh, Liga BBVA players as we could in there. The thing I feel with FIFA this year is you kind of... Um, I don't really... I'm not really enjoying hybrids as much this year as I have in, in previous years. Um, I don't know what it is. I just kind of like building squads from one league now. As I feel like they play a lot better. We did have that Reyes guy. As you can see, we didn't notice him at first. Um, he is an absolute tank. He looks like a tank as well, guys. Um, and all around, the players we got were actually really, really decent players. Um, we, buy, uh, we did buy a few in, which you'll see in a second as well. But just for the starting uh, kind of lineup and stuff like that, we did have a lot of Liga BBVA players. That Val Patricio worked really, really well for the one reason that he did connect with the Portuguese guy um, as well as the legend. It was lucky that we did get a Portuguese guy from the Liga BBVA to connect up to Raul Patricio. But in tomorrow's episode, which should be the first few games um, of this series, today's episode won't have games, guys, just because um, I kind of wanted to show you what I'm going to do with the squad and stuff like that. But tomorrow's episode, which should have games, um, yeah, Raul Patricio wasn't the best. You'll see that in it. Didn't perform well at all for me. I was actually, it was, it was shocking how bad he was. Um, but guys, you'll see that in tomorrow's episode. So I'm going to try and sell him on probably in the next few episodes. And uh, Oh, in fact, I can't sell him on. He's, non he's untradeable. But I will buy an, a new goalkeeper in the next few episodes, guys. As you can see, we did go out and buy Rosales. <laughs> the right back <laughs> um, and we put him straight in the squad we really needed a decent right back as right back we were having at the moment in time just just wasn't quality it was in Navarro it wasn't even in the same league it was in the second um, Spanish division so that was kind of disappointing we also had the left back who is in the second Spanish division as well but we're going to keep him in it for the moment as we couldn't really make that many signings we wanted to make um, we wanted to keep some coins sorry and we didn't really want to make every single signing on the first um, kind of the first day that we were doing the world to go to end. So we left some coins behind as you'll see at the end of the episode. But we bought loads of cheap players. I got this Castillo guy for 400 coins. And then I realised he had 57 shooting. So at first it looked good. So it's 80 pace, 81 dribbling. Um, and just completely missed out his 57 shooting. Then I realised and I was like, what, what am I doing? 57 shooting just isn't great guys. The lighting is really starting to annoy me in here. It is genuinely terrible, isn't it? Um, yeah, the lighting's very, very bad. That will definitely be fixed in the next episode, guys. That's lighting this side of my face. Um, but this side is just not got any light on it at all. So that should be fixed in the next episode, guys. I'm going to try and get a light up here. Um, so, see, so yes. Yeah, so if, if any of you are new to the channel, it's not normally like this. Don't worry. Um, but as you can see, we did go ahead and buy uh, Bapis, Bapisto? Bapisto? Bapis, Bapistao? Let's call him 
Bapistel. Bapistel, um, we did buy. We also did buy that Arrejo guy. And we were, we were just on a rampage. We were buying so many strikers. It was on me. We saw this Castro. Thought it was a bargain for 400 coins. We just continued to, to find quality players. Diego uh, Ayego Aspas, sorry. Uh, the ex Liverpool player there as well. So we're finding a lot of quality buys that we're going to add to the squad. Four strikers, though, is quite a lot, guys. If you want to see me keep all them, Make sure to tell me in the comment section, should I sell uh, some of those strikers on? Because I'm not too sure, because it did seem like a lot at the time. But then I'm thinking, you know, we need two strikers and we'll need to kind of replace them for fitness and stuff like that. So I might as well. Probably should have only bought three and um, replaced maybe one each game. Just kind of that kind of that reverse psychology, not, not psychology, but just reverse it around. You know what I mean? Um, and that could have probably been the way we should have went forward with it. But we did go ahead and buy the four strikers <laughs> and put them all on the reserves. Almost filling up the whole reserves and I believe we did start with Castro and Aspas, the Iago Aspas were the ones um, that we did want to put up front. We also had that Castro guy, the left winger, um, who looked pretty decent. 81 pace, 82 dribbling, 74 shooting and 73 passing. We're probably going to be having quite a lot of teams at that left kind of mid position. Um, of course the other guy at left mid isn't great now that we've seen his shooting. His pace and dribbling are decent but we kind of need a guy that can hit the ball as well so we'll probably sell him on in the next few episodes. Um, also, but the squad was looking very, very good. We, of course, we had that lone legend in um, that squad as well, which you get at the beginning of um, your account on FIFA. Uh, so we got that quite a while ago, guys. But of course, this account is not brand new. As you can see, we played two games and uh, no, played three games, got two wins and one loss. And if you haven't checked out the last episode or the kind of first kind of pilot episode of this, um, that's because I did play a foot draft on it, not in this series though. It was just in my spare time. This was one of the only accounts I could have done this on. And every account anyway had games played on um, on the uh, like the foot draft. So it was it was kind of a no brainer. I kind of had to do this or delete the club and start again. You guys voted for me to keep the club. So that's what I'm going to be doing. By the way guys, my shout out Sunday series um, will be starting back up this weekend. If you've made it this far in the video, comment down below. Let's comment down below RTG, just the words RTG. If you comment down below RTG, um, you will be in a great chance of getting a shout out at the weekend, guys. One of the people that sh uh, that says RTG, and I know they've made it to this point in the in the in the video. If they comment that in the comment section, one of you will definitely be getting a shout out in this weekend's shout out Sunday. It's not even if you've not been um, active on my channel all week. That will obviously help if somebody's been active on my channel and says it, but. If you're the only one that says RTG, you're guaranteed a shout out of the weekend, guys. So make sure to comment down below RTG if you made it to this point in the video um, already. We're coming up for the end of the video now, guys. As you can see, the squad was looking fine. It was looking very nice. Of course, we had that Toure and Dimichelis Man City like that we could use. Except we don't really want to use Di Michele's, um for obvious reasons. But if we did want to go down that route, we did, of course, have that Yaya Toure and Steven Gerrard that we can't sell. So we might as well use them at some point in the series. Um, and we're probably going to do that in the next wee while, guys. As you can see, we, uh, we're looking to see if there was any more BPL players we could put in. Maybe put a BPL aspect to this squad. Um, but it was only a wee catamol, so there wasn't anything um, too special that we could add into the squad. Which is kind of disappointing. But... What can we do? You know what I mean? We, we, we kept it like this, guys. Um, and, yeah, it's a very, very solid squad. We've got the whole League of BBB squad. And, of course, we do need that to go into the tournament. Just a hint, as I said earlier in the video, of what could be coming up in the next coming episodes. If you're looking forward to this series, make sure to smash that like on the video, guys. That would be absolutely insane. Also, subscribe if you're new to the channel, guys. That would mean so much to me. The Draft to Glory will make a return this Saturday. This Saturday, the Draft to Glory will be returning. And we'll have the Draft to Glory and the Road to Glory going on this channel. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I'm hoping hoping um, to see a lot of you guys kind of watch these videos and um, get interactive with them as well and really, really enjoy them. That's what I want to see you guys do. Um, and yeah, make sure to, as I said, to comment the uh, dra uh, draft to glory, road to glory, sorry, RTG, RT, or get is what I mean when I say G. Um, make sure to comment that down below, guys, and I will know you've made it to this point in the video and you'll be in for that shout-out chance this Sunday. If you haven't made it this far, though, which I suppose I'm trying to talk to you now, but you wouldn't be watching it at this point, you're still in for a chance of getting a shout-out. So make sure to stay active on my channel, guys. And yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. 20 likes would be absolutely insane, guys. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. But apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.